Hey, welcome to my second Halloween special. Today we're going to paint up these spooky ghosts. I've had this thing in my drawer for who knows how long, but I'm sure it's still relevant, right? These models are push fit minis, so they're supposedly easier to put together, but I kind of had a pain getting the pieces flush with each other. Eventually though, I figured out if you cut the peg inside, it goes together a lot better. But yeah, I think these Grim Gas Reapers are a good thing to focus on. The one thing about Nighthawn is all the guys kind of look the same, so you can apply the same techniques across everything. And hey, check this out. I'm using a wet palette now. We're getting super professional. I don't really have a plan going into this, but let's just see what happens here. They're really simple though, so I shouldn't have too many issues. Here's pretty much the main technique I'll use across everyone, and that's wet blending. First I put down the white paint, then took some green and pulled away from it. This should give you a nice gradient effect. Here I'm putting down some more base colors before I do a wash. So here's where everything could go wrong. Gonna try this Drakenhof nightshade and cross my fingers that it turns out okay. Uh oh. Uh, all right, I can fix this. Gonna take this brighter moot green and highlight the warp stone glow area. Also had to put more white down to get that back where I wanted it. Next I used two thin coats of black for the robe and applied the metal colors to it as well. I used leather brown to highlight the top of his scythe. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Reapers. Super simple stuff, but these were used as starter models for Age of Sigmar for quite some time, so it makes sense, I guess. And like I said before, the same techniques pretty much apply to everyone here. The Banshee is arguably even easier because it's all just wet blending apart from the body armor. I mentioned that these guys are pretty simple, but that almost makes them a bit harder. A lot of imperfections can show up on the flat surfaces where normally a more detailed suit of armor, for example, might cover it. But I had fun with them overall. I'll definitely be picking up more for my warband even if I don't go all in for Sigmar. And all right, that's kind of it, I think. I have to get this video out so I can't paint all these guys just yet, but they'll be turning up in future videos, I'm sure. And yeah, happy Halloween. If you enjoyed the video, please consider doing all that YouTube stuff that people love asking you to do on here, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.